Wow! Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a review about Joop Om Le Parfum, the new fragrance. Let's see if it's good or not. What I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna do my first impressions, I'm gonna sniff it blind. See what my first reactions of this fragrance are. Then I'm gonna let it settle down for two hours on my skin and come back with the full review. Now grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. All right, Bjorp Om. Let's see what you got. Now I must say, I don't like Joop fragrances. I don't like the normal pink one. I don't like the Eau de Parfum one. But the, the one that I do like is Joop Om Wild. So um, let's see. All right, this is the presentation of the box. Simple, simple, nothing. Uh, the information, uh, the things at the bottom. And you get like a sun. I have no idea what this is, but this is what you get at the top. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, the famous pink bottle. Famous pink bottle, that's what you get. Right, so this is the presentation of the bottle. It, oh, it's actually more of the pink juice than a pink bottle than uh, what is this. Yeah, simple, cheap-ish. Let's see how this one smells, because it can be a hit or miss. All right, Joop Om Le Parfum. Let's see how this one is. So curious if I'm gonna like it or not. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> That's the first thing what I get. It's weird. I um I got something really nice. I got something powdery, and I was like, oh, is there iris in this one? You know? And then I got something like really punching and screechy in my nose. I was like, uh, what is this? Oh. Um, you know what? I do get iris. I do get the powdery notes on there, which I love. Love, 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 love. I'm gonna try it on my skin. Maybe it changes on there, you know. We always need to do a test on the skin. Actually, sprayer is really good. Is it masculine? What is this? What is this? I get something very good in the air. Wow. Oh, guys. Oh, this is good on skin. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes, do not test this. On a test trip, you need to test this on your arm. It's super different on your arm. On my skin, I get really the powdery iris. It is also very sweet, but not the annoying sweet that Joop normally has because I hate, hate, hate that. You don't get that. It is like a smooth Joop. That's what it is. Smooth Joop. I like smooth Joop. Smooth Joop. Le Parfum. Give it to me, baby. Yeah, this is good. Wow, okay, it is really powdery, smooth powdery. It is lipstick powdery, that's what it is, but also with some sweetness, and I think also fresh fruit in there, but I don't know really what it is. Okay, first impressions are really good. I'm really digging this fragrance, like a lot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let it dry down on my skin for two hours and come back with a full review. So be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right, guys, and I am back. So it has been two hours that Joop Om Le Parfum has been on my skin right now. And uh, it is still really good. And I can tell you that uh, I already love this fragrance. But that is also because I really like uh, powdery kind of fragrances. And this fragrance is a very, very powdery. It is sweet, but not overly sweet. It is not cloying, never. And it has a good balance between sweet and powdery. But that's the main thing that you're going to smell with this. Now, and let's look up the notes on Frank Rantica. Let's see what the notes in here are and if you can smell that. Okay, so in the top you're going to get lavender. I did smell that in the opening. But in a dry down that's completely away. In the middle notes you're going to get iris. I do get that, but it is not the same iris as Dior Homme Intense or Prada Lom. 
It is not that iris. This is a different kind of an iris, an iris that I have never smelled before, but you smell that it is iris. But don't expect that it's the same as Dior Homme Intense and Prada Lom. Remember. Okay, and in the base notes, you're going to get vanilla, praline, and tonka bean. That's what you get. It is sweet, but not cloying. Not cloying. Okay, and I see that people connect the stronger review, review line uh, to this fragrance. But I would say no. It is different. It is not, not anywhere close, actually. They both are sweet, but this is more of a unisex kind of a fragrance. And the stronger review line, I find that one very masculine. So don't think that you're gonna get anything of the stronger review line because no, 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 no. You're not gonna get that. Okay, this fragrance is unique. I have smelled only uh, Joop, the normal one, the Joop Eau de Parfum and Joop on Wild. And this one is totally different from those uh, three fragrances. So don't think that you're like a Joop Om lover kind of a fragrance boy that you think like, oh, I like uh, all Joop Oms. No, no. Maybe not. This one is really, as I said, unique, different, unisex. You have to try this one. See if you like it. But as I've said, this one is unisex. But men don't worry when I say something is unisex. That doesn't mean that you cannot wear this. A lot of people, you know, like a lot of guys are very scared when I say, yeah, girls can wear this one too. And they're like, <gasps> no, if a girl can wear that also, I'm not going to wear it. It's a fragrance. You know, if you, if you wear it or, or a woman, it's different don't be scared about that okay and occasions to wear this again you can wear this actually all year round at night but not in the summer you can wear it every year just not in the summer it, it's going to be too cloying for that you want to smell a little bit more fresher in the summer and this one is not fresh not at all and a little bit more of an upscale kind of an occasion because of that iris it smells a little bit more luxurious because of that Okay, now longevity and projection, I don't know. Michelle of the future need to tell us uh, with a voice over right now. She's going to tell you uh, what it is. This fragrance lasted easy eight hours on me. And after I took a shower, it still kept projecting off of my skin. In a dry down, I found out that there's a broxen in this fragrance. They don't list it in the notes, but it's in there. So projection, longevity, it's in there. Try it out. All right, thank you, Michelle of the future. Okay, now rating. If I would rate this fragrance, I would give it an easily seven and a half. Um, yeah, that's how good I think this one is at the moment. Now the prices are a little bit high because it is a new or high. It's not soup. It's you know it's a, it's a cheap fragrance, but wait for it till it's not that popular so you can get it cheaper all right guys this was the fragrance video of today hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below which fragrance you want me to review next and i will do it i will try to get a sample or a bottle or whatever let me know in the comments down below and see you in the next video Mwah. bye bye